What's up YouTube, back to another video. Today, I came up with an idea that probably no one has thought of. Today, I'm going to be telling you the story of how I became the first to complete a vegan run in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It wasn't easy, but I managed to complete it. Is it possible? Let's find out. Let's go over the rules. The rules are simple. The challenge is to defeat Ganon and the Blights. No divine beast to assist me. I cannot eat any meat, fish, crabs, eggs, etc. I am only allowed to eat fruits and vegetables in this run. Also, no amiibo pools, but elixirs and glitches are allowed. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. Only a small percentage of you have subbed to the channel, so make sure you do that too. Also, I don't really say this much, but also click the notification bell to, take, to stay tuned on whenever I upload. Alright, on to the video. So as I started the run, I immediately grabbed the Sheikah Slate as fast as I could to clip through the wall, just to get a small time save instead of having to go through so much dialogue. Once I clipped out, I grabbed my first vegetable, which was the Hylian Shroom. It doesn't have a lot of healing properties eating it alone, so I saved it until I could get a cooking pot later in the run. I grabbed some materials and fought some bokoblins on the way to the tower just to get their weapons that will assist me further on. As I activated the tower and heard Zelda's plea, I made my way off the tower and into the Magnesis Shrine. Nothing too different happened in the shrine, but I did grab myself a bow from the chest. Other than that, I grabbed myself one more spirit ward and made my way to the other shrines. Nothing special happened when I was going through all the shrines, so I'll just fast forward until I get the paraglider. When I was finally bestowed the paraglider, I immediately headed my way towards some shrines so I could get more hearts and stamina vessels. The first one I headed for was the one next to the bridge, the Bosch Kala Shrine. It was the closest one I could get to. With completing the shrine, I headed towards the Dueling Peaks Shrine to get an item that would be very useful. If you played the game, you would know what I'm talking about. While heading there, I also stopped at a few shrines on the way, just for the spirit orbs. As I finally made it into the Dueling Peak Shrine, I windbombed my way through most of it just to get the climbing headband. It will be a very useful item in the run for the castle section and more. With the item acquired and the shrine out the way, I picked up one more spirit orb, then headed my way toward Kakariko Village where I can trade all of my spirit orbs for some hearts and stamina vessels. But before going there, I cooked some food for the future in case anything got out of hand, which was the smart thing to do. After I got done cooking, I was ready to head into Kakariko Village for upgrades and supplies. But before I went up, I bullied some bokoblins to get the maracas back to give it to Hestu for upgrading my inventory space. I wasn't able to get a third inventory expansion because Hestu started to head back to the Kokiri Forest, but more on him later. As I finally stepped into Kakariko Village, I immediately grabbed some hearts and stamina since I was there. When I was done upgrading, I thought to myself to go talk to Impa 
but that would have just made this whole video longer, so I decided not to. So as I headed up the mountain, I entered the shrine to get the warp point and the spirit warp. After that, I grabbed everything I needed to set out to Hateno Village for armor pieces for the light boss fight. I know that this sounds like a lot that I have to do, but don't worry. Future Eli will take care of you. From here on out, the real work starts to begin. Once I made it into Hateno Village, I purchased one of the best defense sets in the whole game, which is the Soldier Set. It has up to 12 defense. Since there was a shrine nearby, I couldn't help myself but get the Spirit Orb. I literally told myself it's a wind bomb away. So with that completed, I headed out for more Koroks, and then, later on, I would want to get the Master Sword. So as I got more Koroks and Spirit Orbs, I headed to the Faeron region to get some ingredients to get a tier 3 attack of food that will really make it easier to kill the Blights and Ganon. What I needed was one Mighty Thistle, three Mighty Bananas, and one Dragon Part to get the Heavenly Grail. Now you are probably wondering, where would I get the dragon part? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is hidden in Hyrule Castle, so I'm saving the best for last for later. With that done, I headed my way towards the Korok Forest to get a multi-shot bow, and the Master Sword. Since I was there, I deposited all of my hard-earned Koroks for more inventory space. Now with everything I needed for this run to be complete, I finally headed my way toward Hyrule Castle to loot and defeat Ganon and the Blights. With me finally stepping foot into the bottom of the castle, I made my way from the inside to loot for OP weapons. Now, remember what I said two minutes ago that I needed a dragon part? Well, there so happens to be one right here, surprisingly. I guess Nintendo wanted to reward me for my hardships through this run. So, thanks Nintendo. So with all the ingredients in the grasp of my hands, I cooked the ingredients to get the Heavenly Tier 3 attack of food for surprisingly 13 minutes and 50 seconds. So as I moved forward, I clashed with the Stalnix to get the infamous Hylian Shield to keep this run true and pure. When I was done playing around and looting Hyrule Castle, I pushed forward to the castle to fight the Blights. I did die a lot of times, but I started to understand the strat. Until this happened. Apparently, I was fighting the Blights without any assistance, so I watched a YouTube video, shout out to Point Crow by the way, that kills Wind Blight Ganon with one arrow by doing this setup. So with the knowledge now passed on to me, I took matters into my own hands. If you want to see the video, the link will be in the description. Knock with Wind Blight now down, all I had to do was defeat the rest, and then Ganon. So with my tryhard skills, 
I defeated Water Blight, Fire Blight, and the menace of them all, Thunder Blight. The only one left is the Dark One himself, Ganondorf. The fight was intense and long. Just another classic battle between good and evil. I needed to defeat Ganon, but Dark Beast Ganon. Yet, Zelda was so kind to bestow to me, just once, the magical bow of light to penetrate the evil malice. And you're probably wondering, where did I get the horse? Well... Right after I went out of Kakarika Village, I guess I forgot to say that I captured a horse, but I named it, after this run, Vegan. Together, we were able to defeat Ganon and put a stop to his evil schemes once again. So after shooting multiple glowing points, I gave Ganon one last try to reconsider, but he wouldn't listen. So I gave him a piece of my mind, and finally, ended the run. And just like that, I've completed the run. A vegan run. And The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. I would really appreciate it. If there's any other challenges you guys want me to do, please feel free to tell me in the comments. If there's nothing else, then I guess I'll see you guys later. Catch you later next time.